I just watched Apple's WWDC 23 presentation. They got four different hardware products coming out. Let's talk about it. All right, welcome back to the channel. So a couple things I wanted to talk about is Apple's WWDC 23. That's a mouthful. They just came out with four brand new hardware products. And I think two of them are great. Two, two of them are gonna be a little harder to swallow with the costs and stuff, but they're still kind of interesting products. And uh, we got a couple different Macs for sure. We also got this new spatial audio and video device, which is really cool. I'm gonna show you a little bit about that. So sit back and relax, let's talk about it. Four different brand new Apple products right here. What is it, June 2023? Let's go. All right, so the very first one, and I'm gonna show you pictures as I'm talking. They did come out with the MacBook 15 inch. It's actually 15.3 inches. It's basically gonna be the thinnest MacBook at 15 inches they ever came out with. They say 11.5 millimeters in size. So what's the difference between this and the 13 inch? It's really just the screen, all right? Everything else is pretty much the same. It's gonna have two Thunderbolt ports, it's gonna have, let me think about it, it's gonna have the Mac, uh, the Mac safe charging. So that's all the, very similar to what they have on the 13 inch. Um, as far as this, the M2 chip, that's the other thing. It's got the M2 chip, the standard M2 chip, which is similar to the 13 point, 13 point six inch. Now, overall, everyone thought it might come out with the M3 chip. That was the question, are, are they gonna ship with M3s, M2s? It does come out with the M2 chip. It also comes with the exact same colors. You're gonna get silver, um, you're gonna get starlight, you're gonna get uh, space gray, and then finally the midnight blue. So the colors are gonna stay the same on this system as well. So it's not that exciting, but it's just the fact that you get 15 inches, 15.3 inches now in a bigger system and a MacBook Air, which is nice. Now what's the cost, right? The cost is actually gonna be lower than I thought at $12.99, which is not bad. They're actually uh, dropping down the version of it, and I'll show you some screenshots here of the cost on it of the 1299, but they're gonna be dropping down the other one also, um, which is the 13.6 inch. They're gonna drop that down to, I think it's 1099 from 1199. So that one's going down a hundred bucks. They're gonna leave the M1 at 999, but don't buy that unless you can get it for like 799. And now this is gonna slot in at 1299. So overall 15 inch MacBook Air, it's brand new. They announced it today and let's keep going down this product line. All right, so the second product is gonna be the Mac, brand new Mac Studio. We didn't know if this was gonna come out this time or not. We, we knew the 15 inch would, right? But the new Mac Studio is out and it's pretty cool, right? This is gonna have the new M2 Max and the M2 Ultra chips. So it's gonna be about 30, what is it, 30, 20 to 30% faster on CPU and GPU than the M1 Max and the M1 Ultra. So it's gonna be a brand new chipset and these are gonna be in the faster M2 model. So we didn't even know if this was gonna happen or they were gonna to go to the M3 in these as well. Now the design of this system, it's gonna be exactly the same as we saw before. The ports are gonna be exactly the same. Let me just see my notes here. It says four Thunderbolt four ports. It's gonna have a 10 gigabit ethernet, an HDMI port, two USB-A ports, two USB-C ports, an SD card reader. So it's gonna look exactly the same and feel exactly the same, but it's gonna be that 20 to 30% faster with the new M2 Ultra, M2 Max chips. Can't complain, right? Now, what do they do in the cost on this one? Let's get in here and take a quick peek. So it looks like it's staying the same. It's gonna be $19.99, and you can see right here, it's gonna have 12-core CPU, 30-core GPU, 16-core neural engine, 32 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD, still $19.99, even with the brand new M2 Max right there. Here's the M2 Ultra, still super expensive, almost four grand, $39.99 right there. But that's gonna come with 60 core or 24-core CPU, 60-core GPU, and it's uh, 64 gigabytes of memory. You can see, you know, some of these things you can really build out and it's just gonna add to the cost. Overall though, nothing else has changed, but it did come out with the Mac Studio, really cool. That's product number two. All right, and then this is the one that kind of is uh, as far as the cost. And also, I didn't think they were gonna come out with it. They are coming out with a Mac Pro, which is pretty amazing, all right? This is gonna be the same design, which is also peculiar. If you look over here, it's gonna have the tower and the rack mountable you know, Mac Pro, but it's not changing. I thought it was gonna get a lot smaller because we're using now the smaller chips, less cooling is involved, but they're staying with the same chassis. Now, the main difference here again is gonna be just the chipset that's in there, and let's talk about that. So overall though, let's just talk about the ports too. Eight Thunderbolt 4 ports, eight of them, that's a lot of them, and then two HDMI ports, faster HDMI on this than the old one. It's gonna have six PCI slots, dual 10, gig, 10 gigabit ethernet as well. Um, and then you can order it today, it says, but the launch will be June 13th, right? So if you get in here, take a look at this. It starts though at 6,999 bucks. 
Crazy. It used to be 5,900 it starts at. They raised this one a thousand bucks for some reason. I guess because it's for the corporate people. But you can see in here, here's the standard chip. It's the M2 Ultra it's going to ship with, the brand new one. 24 core CPU, 60 core GPU, 30 core neural engine, up to 192 gigabytes of RAM. So we can see it goes up to 8, eight terabytes of storage for additional 2,200 as well. Overall, it's pretty crazy, right? You can see in here, but this is not the one I'm too interested in is because it's just out of my league, but they did come out with the Mac Pro. All right, now the fourth product is gonna be the most interesting, I think, and it's gonna be a little pricey. I think it's $34.99 to start, but it's gonna probably change over time. Just stay with me for a second. They call it the Apple Vision Pro. It's the goggles we talked about quite a long time ago. And uh, let me just kind of show you really quickly a couple things about this. So take a look at my screen. You can see here are the goggles. We've seen this before. But let me just go like this a little bit. And you're going to see the person behind them right now. The cool thing with this thing, it's got all these sensors and cameras, right? But it's also got this screen that can turn dark and, and it can let you, you know, as you're seeing here, you can, you can see the person's eyes at different times. So when someone walks up to them, it'll allow you to see their eyes so you can see what they're looking at so you're not completely isolated behind this system like most of these other you know these other machines on your face are like and i always think like what happens if you're sitting in a park or something you're not paying attention someone walks up in front of you or behind you steals your you know purse or computer well this is going to prevent that a little bit because at least you can see out which is kind of nice and people can see your eyes a little bit so that's the neatest feature there but there's some reasons for it as well now this thing is apple's calling it spatial computing which is kind of a new they're calling it a new category right now and it's going to have spatial audio spatial visuals and what you can do in this thing is a lot of different things. So let's assume that you just want to open up a bunch of apps in front of you, and I'll show you pictures as I'm talking. But let's say you want to go ahead and open up all your apps in front of you. You can have as big of a screen. You can have it in, 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 around the entire room that you're looking at. You can, as you add different apps in, they'll all kind of expand out. You can expand one to have the full length of the screen so it looks like it's 10 feet across. These are all cool things, and I guess the text is going to be incredibly clear. They're saying 4K screen in each eye, so a total of 8K combined. Text will be visually sharp, just like a 4K monitor or a 5K monitor. We're going to have to see that to believe it. Now, that's one thing. Working like that is really cool. Then when you're doing calls and video conferencing, you'll be able to have see people on the screen with you. You'll be able to put presentations next to it, and you can see their reactions in real time, which is really cool. You'll also be able to make a persona, which is scans your face, and then it basically it has a little icon with you talking. Now, it's not going to be you because you have this thing on your head, but it's going to be like a 3D representation of you, which you can use, and they call it your persona. That's actually a cool idea as well. All right, so some of the main features I think most people will use this for, though, is take a look. This video, watching videos and watching movies, all right? And it shows how cool this can be. It shows that you can have, it'll convert your whole room into like a theater. It'll darken around the screen so you only can see the main video screen. You can have it as big as an iMac. Uh, IMAX theater uh, when you walk in and you can see how big this thing is, uh, you know, a hundred and something feet across. Just incredible. You can put a different backdrop if you don't like what you have behind what you're looking at. You can add pictures in there like stars and stuff, which makes it look more immersive. And then you're going to have the audio. It's going to be coming from different angles and uh, just like you're in the theater, but even better, they're saying. So overall, I think that's going to be one of the big selling features with this is just video consumption, watching movies and things like that. All right, and then they're gonna, they also touched on playing games in this thing. There's some game development made for it. That's going to be really interesting. And then even like Disney signed a contract already where they're showing real live sports. And I talked about this before. They're showing that you're going to be able to watch live sports on this. And they're showing these weird angles. Take a look at this, like 3D angles. Um, this thing now, a couple things that they talked about is a couple different features. Now, they're going to be showing spatial pictures and spatial video. There's a button on the system, and you can actually take video or a, or a photo, and they call it sports spatial uh, video, spatial pictures, where it'll be in a 3D format. So let's say you're talking to your family during a birthday party and you take the actual picture or you take a video. When you watch it back, it'll all be in 3D. You can't see how it's, you know, you can't see it on a 2D screen, but I guess it's super immersive and really cool because it captures the entire 3D environment as you're watching it. It seems like you're just in living it again is what they're calling it. They also showed a couple examples of you can have 3D objects like on the foreground and then you can have all your screens behind it so you can kind of collaborate with people and just look at different things in 3D. So it is going to be 3D. You're going to be able to watch 3D movies. It's going to have an OLED screen as far as the screen's technology. Now the interesting part is it's going to come with an M2 chip for the actual CPU part of it plus what they call an R1 chip. So it's a brand new chip. They call it to process all of the cameras and sensors built into this thing. So it's going to have a combination of both of those chips to run this. Now I used to ask, like, how can they cool this thing? It's going to have all those chips in this little device like this. You're not going to be able to hear the fans and stuff, they said. It's pretty amazing that they're getting to the technology. So I don't know why they can't cool like a MacBook Air or something when they can cool this thing down and it's just one-tenth the size. 
But overall, the device looks really cool. The cost is gonna be the problem at $3,400, but I think that's gonna come way down, and when this starts shipping out, it's gonna just be a game changer as far as watching you know, high-end, instead of buying maybe a $1,000, $1,500 screen, I think you're gonna buy these goggles instead, and uh, you'll be able to walk around the house, see out of them. People will be able to see your eyes. You'll be able to, you know, do all of your different tasks on your computer, but then easily be able to look forward beyond that if you want to. So it's just not like you're gonna to be totally isolated in, these, in this device, which I think has been the problem with a lot of the other ones. They also talked about how fast everything is so you don't get motion sickness and stuff. But overall, I think it's a good idea. You guys let me know. I know the cost needs to come down. It needs to get down to like a consumer level, even like 1200 bucks, I think. And I think it will in a couple years, maybe sooner, but we'll have to wait and see for that. All right, so I'm just gonna wrap it up. It's getting a little long. I just wanted to introduce those four new products that just came out from Apple. You let me know what you think. Was this what you were expecting? Is it worse or better? The two things that I think are good is the MacBook Air, Mac Studio. I think the other two are just gonna be, a, the Mac Pro is way too expensive. So I'm a $6,000 to start. And then this device that I just talked about is probably the most intriguing, but it's still too expensive for most people at almost 3,500. That needs to come down. Anyways, let me, let me know what you think, because I'm just interested, would you buy this thing if it was 1,200? I think I would actually. It's just so different and such a cool device, even though you know we've seen it before, we've heard about it before, but I think that they've actually done a really good job on this. And just watch the video, watch some of the other stuff that came out with it, and you're gonna see what I mean. We'll talk to you soon. Everyone have a good, I guess, rest of their week. It depends when you watch it, so I always think about that when I say it. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.